and welcome back guys we're going to be making the horse farm this time now now I originally for the island regarding the story regarding eco and how the island fell I don't usually make a horse farm but we had this new person to the group called Wolves and her husband and she really liked collecting horses and uh well, don't get me wrong, that manure got turned into a fertilizer and it did boost the farms to make them grow faster, so, you know, I wasn't complaining. I'm like, you know what, if we're going to turn this place into a stronghold slash a fortress, then we need to go ahead and make sure that horse farm's on the island. You know, this way if the base that she has on the mountain got raided, we didn't lose all the horses, we didn't lose everything. It's better to have more bases than just one base. This way you can, you know, they won't expect you to pop out of the car base if they know that's a car base. If they know that's a horse farm base, they won't expect you to pop out of there with a gear set, you know? So, let's go ahead and show you what we're going to work on. So, this is not going to be exactly laid out as the island but I'm gonna do my best to show you what how each base is made so Avery made his base I don't know how to make that I ain't gonna try I've already showed you how to make a car base I've already shown you how to make overflow base the exact configuration next is horse base unfortunately I can't show you how to make farm base on this server because it does not allow you to take water from the purifier or input into a pump so <laughs> now I don't see the point of making an 8x8 farm base if I can't physically show you how to plummet and set up the electrical, you know, I just don't see the point. So I'll have to find another server to show you how to make this one. But we're going to show you how to make the horse base. I have a couple ideas. I'll show you how we made ours, how I made it for them, and we'll go from there. Alright, I want the screen capture off. I want that on. So we're going to be doing another 8x8. I'm going to build this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. too far. That's all right. Only thing I don't like about the B grid is glitchy. Put your TC in the corner as close as you can in the corner there. So, if I remember telling you, this bit, the horse farm was 13k stone. We'll find out very quickly here how much it takes the upkeep. I don't have all the fun skins that I had because I used skin box or I don't know, stuff like that. All VIP on servers, which makes it so much easier. I am going to buy the entire Neo inside the set, so it, it's just going to take me a hot second. Alright. So let's do this. Let's do this. That. No. I believe I set solar power up for this base because I just didn't feel like doing the wind turbine thing yet. My plan was to put wind turbines on the farm base, which I already did that. There's like 
six of them to power that base. There was four wood turbines on the overflow base to power the bridge with lights and turrets. There was supposed to be another for four wind turbines on the car base. Can't remember if I actually did that or not. Uh, and there were supposed to be four turbines on the horse farm, but I don't think I actually got that far. I had a lot of plans, and it was all ruined because people got toxic and just kept following for what pe another person had to say. Unfortunately, that is what happens when you invite someone to the group that you don't even know more than three days. That's how sad that was. Uh, when I went back and I really looked at, okay, how long have they known this person for? they only known this person for three days compared to me being known for about a year. It says a lot. But anyways, right off that shit. Let's not talk about that. We don't need those bad vibes. Alrighty, so 8x8, eight eight. this is fucking big. Alright, let's go to Twiggy. Now I have some ideas for the horse farm base. Uh, this really determines if Face Punch will actually make the graveyard walls something you can buy on the Steam store. I really think that that'd be an awesome thing to have where people can just buy the skin in case that server doesn't have them enabled. I don't know why a lot of Rust servers don't have the graveyard walls enabled on their server, but they can be used for a lot of things like we got stability problems there. I feel that this is too big. That's alright. I do believe it was an 8x8 eight eight base, uh, horse base I built for. I know here in a second, right? Gonna do some sloppy illogical, don't mind me. Uh, let's do five of these and we'll do that for now. And we'll not this, this, this. There, there, and that goes in. Hundred and twenty power, that's not bad at all. Uh seven thousand stone a day, Yikes. But uh you get the job idea. 
Takes a lot of freaking stone. I was basically feeling that I was slaving away the entire time just to make sure the bases keep going, honestly. That's what it felt like. In a sort of way, I'm happy not to be part of the group, but I'm also, you know, bummed out because there's a new update that would work really good for a group. So, I don't know. It's a good thing, but it also had negative effects. <sighs> Composter. That's what we had there. I just kind of place a bunch of lights throughout this so that it will be lit up at night somewhat. I'm not going to put a bunch of them in. I'm just going to kind of represent what I did in there. These lights will look really good in caves, by the way. That was pretty much what it was like. Uh, now it's going to put the troughs in and the boxes. And we're done with horse base. Uh, I'll show you what I'm thinking if Rust ever makes it so that you can, you know, uh, use the graveyard fences. That'd be looking awesome. So, fun fact for those that do horse farms. If you have your horses inside of a base, you do need to feed them. The theory of... The theory of leaving them in here with no food, no one being around, is false. Your horses will die if you do that. So, we, we found that out the hard way, okay? That's... That's all you really need to know. Uh, we did some testing with it. We found out if you leave your horse outside and you've got your troughs outside, when that trough runs out of food, the horse won't die immediately. It will lose health, but you see the point. It's you know doesn't die instantaneously once it runs out of food in here. That's what happened in here. I'm like, what the fuck? People look over and are like, what the hell are you talking about? Quite literally, someone logged off. I believe it was someone called Bloop that logged off in the TC room. As soon as he spawned in, all the horses died. All we heard is this crunch. I'm like, what the hell is that? Walk in. Why did you log off in here? What the hell did you do? Literally is what happened. He's like, I didn't do anything, I just spawned in. But yeah, we found out the hard way. Don't do that. What you can do, because the horse is about a block lengthwise. Um, I use this as a way to represent it. Mm -hmm. 
So putting these boxes on the side allows you to throw poo poo in there and you know things of that nature. Also allows you a spacer to figure out where your horse is going to be. Now this is not going to be perfect, but you know it'll be close enough. So you got horses in between here, horses in there, and you know, depending on how many horses you're gathering, just keep adding more rows and add lights in so you can see what the hell you're doing in here at night. Um, yeah, pretty much. It's not hard to make one of these bases, it's really simple. Now let's see if they'll let me play with graveyard fences. Yay! So I had a cool idea for this horse fence thing here, okay? So just bear with me. So I'm going to delete all entities of that so it's out of my way. That's not what I want. Clear. Clear all this. Alrighty. So, if Phase Punch ever made it so that uh, you can. Oh, goodness gracious, I gotta upgrade this down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, the idea here is to have these graveyard fences. And I really like it if Face Punch made it so you could buy these, honestly. A lot of servers have them enabled, and I don't see the point of why they would have them enabled. I get it, it can be annoying if people are spamming them, but still, it you know, making it so it's not an option makes people go, why? <laughs> Anyways, uh, the idea here that I had is you could keep your horses in their pen by just using these gates. They're kind of like the stone walls. Unfortunately, only a certain amount of serves actually allow you to use these. Uh, quite literally. You kind of get an idea here in a second. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to want to gate over here so the horses can get in and out. I used to make RP cities and then the whole two cabinet thing came out and I'm just like, eh. I'll go to the service that don't have decay to build RP cities, but it's too much for one person to maintain. 
So that's why I stopped. Being stubborn. Goodbye. But you see what I meant. be kind of cool if you could attach that on there that'd be cool too but you kind of get the idea of what I'm thinking what you could do with the graveyard walls you could fence things in you could make it look a little more detailed to a horse pen or you know along those lines anyways make sure you hit that like button make sure to subscribe button hope everyone liked that my example of a horse farm what it could look like with the graveyard walls or how we built our horse farm hope everyone liked that make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe button i'll see you guys again soon hope everyone enjoyed the video